Walking is one of the oldest forms of transportation on the planet. Today it is also used as a form of transportation, but it is also used as a form of recreation. But before you get out on the water, first you need to know how to rig the boat. The first step to getting your boat out is getting it out of winter storage. you will need to rig a boat is the boat, a sail, the mast, some line, a rudder, a keel, a tiller, and a paddle for safety reasons. The first thing you're going to want to do is back up your boat so the back half is in the water like so. Next, we are going to rig the halyard, which is the line that pulls the sail up and down so the wind will catch it and you can actually go somewhere. So the way this, we tie this around the boom is we use a clove hitch. So the way this is done is you loop it around so that it crosses, your line you're working with crosses the original one, this line, to make an X. And then you take it under again and you loop it underneath the X part that you slanted and it looks like that so you can't move it if either side of the line is pulled. Next we're going to take the other side of our main halyard line and loop it through the top of the mast in this hole right here. So we're going to take this, loop it through the hole, and then we're going to take the mast and stick it through this ring on the bottom boom and into this hole. Once your mast is raised, you can finish tying off your halyard by putting it through this pulley here. Like so. And then doing a stopper knot so your halyard doesn't go flying out of your pulley. The way you do a stopper knot is you make an eight over under and then you go through your top loop. And that's a stopper knot. It stops it pretty effectively. Next we're going to rig the main sheet which allows the sail to move back and forth. You're going to have to get a little wet, get the water and go to the back of your boat and right here where the traveler is you're going to need to tie a knot if you can get your line through. Gosh. Once you get the main sheet through, you're going to want to do a bullet knot to help it stay. And you do that knot by forming a loop and then taking this end under, around, and back through your original loop. And then you tighten it. And then you take the other end, which is forever away. and you loop it through this pulley right here and then you go around and you loop it through this one over here and then you tie a stopper knot so that your sail doesn't fly out of your boat. It's very scary and bad. I wouldn't recommend it. Don't try it. I've done it before. It doesn't end well. And that's your main sheet. When rigging a boat and dealing with excess line, don't leave it in a bundle where it can get all knotted up. Always try and just kind of coil it up like so and just leave it out of the way so it doesn't get in a knot because 
Those are fun. Next, I'm going to rig the rudder onto the stern of the boat, and this will help us steer. So, the way we rig this is you push this little piece of metal down so you can pull this pin out, and then you line up the holes here of this piece with the holes here, and you stick the pin through, and then you move this little piece of metal to take it out. Next, we're going to take the tiller, which helps us steer the rudder from that seat. It's a long distance, so we, my arm isn't that long, I don't know about you, but I need this to help me reach. We're going to start by putting the tiller under the traveler, always under, never over. That's important. And then we're going to take off this little pin here. Oh dear. And then we're going to put it on here and through the rudder. Oh my, come on. And then you're going to tighten it. And there you have it. A tiller connected to a rudder. Now you are, have the ability to steer your boat. This is the keel. Um, it is inserted into the hole right there. You always want the gradual side to be facing the front of the boat. And what this does is the water pushes past this when it's in the water and it allows you to steer through your rudder. If you didn't have a keel, you wouldn't be able to steer and that would be bad. This is also used so that if you capsize your boat, you can swim around and stand on it on the other side and it will flip your boat back over and then you can just climb back in and go sailing again, and it's wonderful. I love this little thing. <laughs> it is always wise to bring a paddle on board in case the wind dies and you are stuck in the middle of a lake. This way you can get home. When you are done rigging your boat, all you need to do is raise your sails. Once your sails are raised, you can either plunder the seas or just sail around to have fun. Either way, there are many activities that can be done on a sailboat. Once you have finished rigging your boat, you can raise your sails and set course for high adventure on the high seas and plunder all you want with your piratiness. <laughs> Once you have raised your sails, you can head off on a course for high adventure and steal and plunder to your heart's content. After four weeks of traveling through wind and rain and storms and facing those cannibals, still no treasure. What is that I see? Treasure! Treasure! Ah, oh, ah, gold! Arg!